The American Society of Human Genetics stands as a vanguard in the realm of genetics and genomics, tirelessly advancing our understanding of the human genome. With a 75-year rich history, the ASHG has been a driving force in the field, promoting cutting-edge research, collaboration, and education. Its members, comprised of geneticists, researchers, and professionals, continually unravel the mysteries of heredity and disease, pioneering groundbreaking discoveries that underpin medical advancements, personalized health care, and a deeper appreciation of our shared genetic heritage. Once again, the ASHG brings us all together, but this time in Washington, D.C. ASHG TV starts right now. Welcome everyone to Washington, D.C. for the 2023 ASHG Annual Meeting. I'm Atria Godfrey and I'll be your host for the next few days. We'll be giving you exclusive interviews with leaders in the field, dive deep into some of the organizations and universities at the forefront of genetics and genomics research, and we'll highlight some of the key topics being discussed right here at this year's meeting. First though, we want to shine a light on all of you with our member spotlight segment. We head now to the conference floor to hear what the 75th anniversary of the ASHG means to you. Let's see what you have to say. Yes, so it is a big deal because ASHG is like the mecca of genetics and genomics. Uh, people from across the world have like flock into and wait for this event to see what are the new things upcoming in genetics, what has already been published or about to be published and meeting other geneticists, networking and this has been built up for 75 years. It's a legacy and some of the biggest geneticists and some of the biggest contribution in science has come from these um, meetings so it's uh, and it's for 75 years is a big deal. Well, as a new member, it gives me like a lot of confidence that I'm being part of an organization that's been here for so long and it has like a lot of trajectory, which means they have a lot of experience, they know what they're doing probably, and um, they also know what are the challenges for countries that are not so developed in this area to kind of how to help them to develop and grow in this area. And I decided to be part of ASHG because it's like one of like the long-standing uh, associations that's, that's here about genetics. And also just to see like how big this organization is and how they include like other organizations from other sites, like other parts of the world too, which also made me feel like I wanted to be part of this. It's a lot of years. Um, I think genetics is, a, a, I don't know, a subject that is uh, revolutioning so much um, in the investigation and research field. I think that in the uh, last 30 years we are um, in an other world. Um, the things that we thought uh, in other years that it would be possible to be, and I think we are, wow, this is a lot of years and a lot of research and a lot, and a lot of work, and I love it. We are absolutely honored to have Dr. Meta Javelik, the chair of the program committee for ASHG, here in studio with us today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Well, we are very excited. Congratulations on all the hard work that has gone into the preparation for this year's annual meeting. Can you give us a little sneak peek of what attendees might, can expect? Well, the attendees can expect truly fantastic science at the cutting edge of human genetics. That's what our program committee strives to program in, in our annual meeting. And of course, there will be parties, there will be workshops, there will be industry sessions, exhibitors, a lot of posters, wonderful talks. That's what the uh, attendees should expect. A little something for everyone. A little something for everybody. <laughs> wonderful. Well, if we can narrow it down a little bit, are there any specific topics that stand out to you this year? Maybe anything that you're most excited about? Yes, I think there's a lot of applications of human genetics into the clinic now. Um, we're looking forward, this is our 75th anniversary, uh, so applications of human genetics in the clinic is definitely uh, one of the uh, highlights of this year. The applications of artificial intelligence and machine learning in human genetics is another highlight of this year. 
Very exciting. Is there anything in particular that you hope that um, attendees take home with them, maybe something that they can, can implement, any applications? Yeah, I think there's a lot of new and novel methodology that people are, uh, uh, are presenting on statistical genetics, in experimental human genetics. I think they will learn a lot of new things that are at the cutting edge in the meeting this year. Well, I want to give you an opportunity to speak directly to our attendees. They're very excited to be here this week. So if there's one key message that you could leave them with, what would it be? The floor is yours. Well, this year's theme is One Humanity, Many Genomes. So the program committee crafted a program that reflects that. There will be fantastic talks by our members. So I hope people will learn exciting science while having fun. Wonderful. Well, again, congratulations on all of your hard work. And thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Now, let's get started with our tour of organizations and universities that are at the forefront of genetics and genomics. Bill Kent University is a center of excellence for science, arts, and education. Let's take a closer look. The Department of Molecular Biology and Genetics was established in 1993 when the Human Genome Project was at its initial phase. The impetus was the emerging field of genomic medicine. It was explicitly clear that the quality of future research is dependent on the recruitment of young talents to science. And the key to prepare young minds for a scientific career is high quality education that liberates individual curiosity. Therefore, our main mission is to create an environment to support a culture of creativity for scientific discovery. Here, cutting edge curiosity-driven research, which does not aim at solving a particular practical problem, but only aims at answering interesting and fundamental questions is of vital importance. At the Danish National Genome Center, the mission is to create a better future for patients in Denmark. The center collects data on Danes' genomes in a secure supercomputer, makes it available to doctors, researchers, and patients, and promotes new knowledge about personalized medicine at home and abroad. The treatment of the future begins right now. My name is Barbara, and uh I usually work as an electrical project engineer, um, but I have been sick all my life, really. A lot of infections, so in and out of hospitals. But then I got this gene sequencing and it turned out that I had a gene defect. The Danish National Genome Center was established by law in order to build an infrastructure and to uh, adopt and implement whole genome sequences directly into healthcare. The supercomputer is capable of handling huge amount of data, both genome data and other data, in order to make more precise diagnosis for the individual patient. More precision medicine should be part of the solution of the problems that the healthcare systems are facing today. With the right medicine, I was normal. It was like a miracle. In regions where consanguinity is prevalent, such as Saudi Arabia, there exists an elevated risk of autosomal recessive diseases. These areas grapple with the highest incidence of such diseases, many of which are severely debilitating or even fatal. However, these communities stand to benefit immensely from genomic analysis, given not only the relative ease of identifying causal genetic variants, but also the potential for prevention. Let's take a closer look now at the remarkable work being done at the King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center. King Faisal Specialist Hospital was and still is the front runner of genomics and genomic research in the country and the region. 
Our mission is to translate the latest in genomic discoveries into clinically meaningful information for the benefit of all patients locally and globally. In Saudi Arabia, there is a variety of genetic disorders that we know are at increased risk because of the high risk of consanguineous marriages. We receive many cases that are negative on clinical exome or genome sequencing. And for the majority of these cases, the causal variant is actually in a novel gene. We face a challenge linking the gene to the phenotype, but we have successfully done so for more than 200 genes so far. Each of these discoveries is important in its own right because there is a patient somewhere in the world whose molecular diagnosis could only be secured after that particular gene discovery was published. Thank you so much for tuning in to our show today, but remember, we'll be back each day of the meeting with more exclusive content from the 2023 ASHG Annual Meeting. We will see you right back here again tomorrow.